Tonight, as we uh, met together, and a few few days ago, when we met together and talked about this night, we were so excited to know that we can make a difference. Katie and I had the privilege this Thursday to be your on the mark, and uh, it was so interesting the whole conversation as we talked about it, and we we talked more about what what are we going to talk about, and we addressed the thought that we as a community can begin a change against the issue of bullying. Okay, so sometimes it seems that bullying would be such a, you know, a thought that, well, you can never change that. And in fact, that was one of the emails that was written into the station that said, bullying will always be, and you cannot really change that. And Katie and I right away just came right back at that and said, well, you know what, we cannot settle for that. We want to be part of the change. And I believe that's probably why you're here tonight, is that you also agree with that thought, that we can change the way we treat each other, the way we talk to each other, the way we receive um, things about each other, the way what we repeat about each other. We can make a change. So I believe that change can happen one person at a time. Even if it's a drop in the bucket, after so many drops, that bucket's going to get filled, isn't it? And you know what? And we can we can make a change. And I just want to say before um, Alvin comes and his mother Darlene to um, give a special song tonight, I want to thank. I just want to thank a few people. I want to thank Superintendent Kathy Grover because she has a vision for our community that we can change. Isn't that refreshing to find someone that cares about? Not only our students, but that we live in a community that we want to change. I want to thank our pastors in the area that are working together and talking to their congregation and saying, you know what, we're not talking about denominations. We're not talking about all the lines that divide Christians or whatever denomination you're in. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the things we come together and we agree on. And what we agree on tonight is that we can make a change. And we do not have to be part of bullying someone. It's just that simple. So if it's that simple, I believe our keynote speaker tonight is going to give us some real tools to help us do that. And it doesn't matter what age you are. We're not just talking about children in schools that are bullied, and it's a very serious situation. As a pastor, I work with students from various schools. I think we have five different counties represented, or six, at Revival Tabernacle. Uh, students coming from all over different places. It's everywhere that students feel that they have been bullied to the point where it just it affects them in a very negative way. Also, recently was able to talk with a lady in an Alzheimer's unit, and, and I was out just going to speak with some residents, and, and we had taken a group of people not to do a church service, just to sit down and talk to people and let them know they're still valid in our community. And I saw a lady in the Alzheimer's unit that was standing against the wall, and she was weeping and, and crying. And of course, what would any of you do if you saw that? You would go over to try to console her, right? I went over to try to console her and say, honey, what's wrong? And she said, she started to tell me about the girl that was going to beat her up after school. Now, this lady was probably at least 85. I'm pretty good at guessing ages sometimes. That was probably her age, 85 to 90. And although she had forgotten so many other things in her life, facts that really mattered, she had not forgotten that she was beat up at school. I asked her, I said, well, did you tell the principal? She said, no, because she'll beat me up worse. She told me, she's so mean to me. I thought, it just drove the point home in my heart so much that words go not only into our ears, but it goes deep into our minds and into our spirit. And here I was standing with a lady that had Alzheimer's. And she could remember something that affected her so deeply. So tonight, we don't want to just talk about the problem. We want to offer hope and let you know that we can change our communities. You can change the work environment you're in. You can change the people you hang with. You can change the way you talk to people or about people. We have the power to change. Doesn't that make you feel good? To know that you have the power to make a change. So as Alvin and Darlene come in and um, leave us a selection, give us a selection of, of beautiful music, 
and we prepare our hearts to hear what Brian Johnson has to say, I want you to know that you are part of a change. You are part of a positive change for our community. God bless you. And for the pastors of the Milton area, we want to say we are happy to be part of a change.